Good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to do a journey today for a person that suffers from anxiety when traveling. And it affects mostly the digestive system. So I'm just going to quickly go into this and take a quick look at, at what is going on here. I'd like to take a couple of deep breaths in my nose and out my mouth to connect on to the person's spiritual atmosphere. Interesting. Right off the bat, I have a situation where I'm when I go into this part, the person actually stands and just like slips and smacks her head right against the ground really hard. And it's like not and you can see the doo -doo -doo -doo, like the little birds above her head. It's interesting. When the word comes up, this is the first thing that pops into her atmosphere is just slipping and falling really hard and hitting the back of her head. It's almost like you're there and you're like, oh my God, I got, you, know, you want to go catch her, but she's already hit the ground. It was so fast. To the point where it's, it's, it's actually creates a, a wave of energy that ripples through her whole body and outward. I've never seen anything quite like that before. It's quite interesting. Hmm. I have a, an old lady coming in to this with a cane hooched over. She's in a, like a green type older outfit. And it's like not necessarily green, but it's really gray, boring, greenish color. It's not very exciting. It's like, like something an old grandmother would, would, would use back in the, you know, a long time ago. They didn't have a whole lot of money. And she's coming in with a cane and kind of just slowly moving towards the scene. And she actually takes her cane and starts hitting her in the head with it, in her forehead. Like, wake up, wake up. And the girl wakes up and looks up into the, into the air and sees the old lady. And it, it's quite, she's like, I don't know why it's showing me this, but it's like protrude vomiting out of her mouth. And the old lady's covered in vomit. It's quite nasty. And she's kind of like, oh, <laughs> wipes herself off like she was expecting that. I'm not quite sure. It's, it's, uh, I'm just going to let this scene play out. She helps her up off the ground and kind of, kind of gives her a pat with the cane in her back. <sighs> Tells her to walk ahead and, uh, when she walks ahead, the old lady moves in behind her. And every time she goes to veer like to the left or to the right, it's like the whole, the whole, like the, her whole energy is moving left or to right. It's very weird because normally your energy is straight, but hers keeps swaying back and forth like she's on a boat. And the old lady actually gives her a whack on the left arm and gives her a whack on her right arm to keep her straight. And this old lady is here to help her. She's actually come into her life to help her. Helping her keep on a straight and narrow when it comes to this. She's actually here as a guide to keep her from swaying. And the swaying motions inside her atmosphere create this vomiting effect. But also the hitting. It's like initial shock to the system reverberates through her whole body, which then creates this weird pendulum type energy going back and forth, which then creates her and gets sick. It does not feel well. It doesn't have to throw up, but she doesn't feel well. And she's meant to know that this woman is going to help her with this. She might not like, because she's pretty hardcore. She's kind of like a, an old nanny from Russia. You know, she's like not going to put up with your crap. She's, you know, she's going to make you do this, even if you don't like it or not. But she's also, she's also has a big heart. But it's designed to like, nope, that's not going to happen. And we'll whack you. They get you back where you need to go. Because it needs to be, it needs to be very disciplined because 
this energy needs to be corrected. So it's going to be done with her in a, in a forceful way, if need be, in order to correct this behavior. She's, you're walking down, you're coming to a corridor, like it's, it's not a corridor, it's the end of the swaying area. It's interesting because this whole area was, is the whole land is moving, but she's keeping you straight, but she's guiding you to a more firmer foundation, something that isn't going to move. And she's sending you to an area that is solid. It's actually like a crystal. The whole floor is like a solid crystal. It's like, um, it's see-through, but only semi see-through. And it's, it's like really far. And it's very flat and very clean. And when you're walking on this, it actually creates like, uh, it's, it's kind of like when a, when a bird flutters its feathers, it kind of goes like, when you walk on it, there's an energy that goes flutters upward. It's like a fan opening up, but it's opening upwards, not like a fan open sideways. It's like taking a wide fan and opening it upwards. And it creates this interesting colors that come up and grab onto your feet, the energy of your feet to keep you from swaying. And now we look back and everything's covered with this and with this type of uh, crystalline structure. This is going to teach you to walk in a, in a straight line and it's going to keep you focused and it's going to keep you from losing your lunch, so to speak. It's something very important about learning and teaching your physical body as well as your spiritual body to not have these actions. But it's going to take time. Like you're not instantly going to be able to go like that and it's going to be fine. This is over time. It's going to teach you with the aid of this energy is going to teach you to walk straight and not the, the whole, the ground's not moving in this area anymore. And your feet are being like, every time you put your foot down, it's like these things grab a hold of your feet. They wrap right around the front of your toes and keep you firmly in place. This is your spiritual energy we're talking about, which then will filter into your physical body as well. You see a task of a mountain in front of you and you have to walk up that mountain. So you're walking towards that right now and you're, you're on the bottom of this mountain and it goes straight up. And it's like, how do you walk straight up a mountain? The old lady says, she goes, look, she goes bang, bang, bang with a cane and the mountain actually is alive. It's, it's an energy. And, and she goes, you're too damn high. You're too damn steep, straight and out. She's actually hitting it with her cane and saying this. And the energy just you know, like, like responds and goes perfectly straight and creates these steps upward. And she's just so woman's quite interesting. And you're walking up the staircase now. Much easier to walk up when there's stairs instead of straight up. Seemed like an impossible task, but nothing is impossible because it's just energy. You're walking up and you look back and you got, you got that spinning sensation. She smacks you in the back of the head <laughs> or in the side and tells you to go look straight ahead. Don't bother looking behind you. You're not ready for that yet. And it's true because you look behind you and your stomach starts to spin again. And so you need to focus straight ahead and stop worrying about what's going on behind you right now until you are able to build the memories inside your spiritual mind and body which will filter in it doesn't going to happen overnight though she's very very insistent on this you need to be patient i'm here to teach you even if you don't even realize it i'm going to be here 
and I'm going to help you get through this. But you have to be patient and you have to work on this. Hmm. We get to the top of the mountain and there's like uh, paper all over the floor. And it's like paper scattered all over the like it's just like a huge paper mess it's like like there was it's like a library that had loose sheets of paper and somebody took a a, a tornado and put it through the library it is a disco it is messy and you getting that this also creates anxiety within yourself i don't know if you realize that this is a big part is connected together that this paperwork that I see all over the place is creating you from you're, you're starting to feel that within your within your stomach again within your intestines so what created this mess I touched the paperwork with my hands like this you know the, the old woman looks down at me when I do this and she nods her head and there's something that's changing here. The whole area is spinning and changing. It's really deathly quiet all of a sudden. And I'm in a big cave. And I'm standing in a like in this dark space. And there's like I could feel the hair standing up in the back of my back of my neck. And there's something in this space and I'm moving very quickly in the shadows. Like it's like I've got a spotlight on me now. And there's something outside of this is really making me nervous. I don't like it's like this is you. I'm feeling your anxiety in this space. And there's something comes out of the shadows and it's like a fish hook that wraps around my right arm and it sticks it in, sticks into it and pulls it out like that. And it does the same thing with my left arm and pulls it out. And something wraps around my chest and it pulls you straight to the ground. Your head goes, slaps on the ground again. Hmm. It's like ridiculously fast and it's so hard. It's like slams you into the ground. This is just a bit disturbing. So this creature with really, it is very, it's like, it's almost kind of spider mixed with a, like a, like a, a spider mixed in with a scorpion type thing. It's like an insect, also a spider, but it has harder shells, has long, long hair. And it's coming up to you and it's like touching you on the ground and it actually it's it's quite disturbing because it actually cuts your stomach open to like it like a plus sign and starts working on your stomach and doing weird things to it i walk up i walk into this space with you and i touch this specific creature and i I just touch it by like in front of it and I push it with my with energy and it f pushes backwards and I snap my fingers and uh, things break around you and I also touch my hand at the same time right after well, just right afterwards to your stomach and I heal that part of yourself and I also have this ding forced against the wall with energy and I'm holding it there with my left hand and my right hand is healing you and I asked the old lady to come and she quickly throws her cane down and picks you up and creates like, like a gold bubble around you she puts you really quickly onto a, like a very comfortable pedestal like not a pedestal like a, like a slab and she's doing some energy work to you 
this woman is really, really, really important for you to understand that she's going to help you with this. And I think she's always been, she's been here for a while, but she needs you to be aware that she is here helping you. I walk up to this spider, uh, like scorpion thing, and I stick my hand right into where the heart would be. And it kind of grows around me like this, and I just allow it because I'm being pulled into its heart. I end up being pulled into a space and I get shot right in the gut with a shotgun. Like almost like close range, just bang. And it makes me fall right back, smack my head under the ground and it's like I'm done. Just it's like it's over within a few seconds. But there's a few seconds I'm looking up into the sky and everything just starts to spin. And I spin into the ground really spinning 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 down into the ground and I don't stop spinning I'm spinning and I'm spinning and I'm spinning and I'm spinning hmm. I'm in this space it's like I don't know if you remember that stuff it's like it's almost like you're taking elastics and you have 50 nails and you're tacking, taking the elastics and, and just randomly sticking them to different parts of the of the actual nails but this is not nails it's it, it's like that but it's like a like a mess of different colors and but it's part of you it's like you're it's like you're taking parts of your spiritual energy and twisting and intertwining them and mixing them all up into this weird net like thing and you fall into that and you're spinning into it and you spin all around it and it gets all wrapped around you and you're stuck in this space this creature is kind of part of you it's a messed up version of yourself that's stuck in this energy and you get so wrapped up, it's like taking your hair and turning a drill on full blast. It's gonna, and, you, and then you just basically say, you have, you're gonna have to get yourself out of this. But the drill is still on full blast, so you can't ever get it out because it's stuck. It's jammed on full blast, so every time you try to move it, it's just, the only way you could possibly do it is to cut it out. But then that leaves a part of yourself, and you don't wanna leave this part of yourself here. I turn into like a, a blanket of energy of, of golden fire and I just pulsate outwards like a phoenix of energy and it just burns all this kind of like elastic type twisted energy. It burns it all to the ground and your body goes to fall and I grab it and, I, and it, before it hits the ground. And it, and it continues to burn way, 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 way up. It's just like, like all this, all this energy is burning, burning away. And it actually opens up a sun, like the sun actually shines now down into the space, which was so dense with this material that you could never get light down into here. Now the sun is shining down directly on top of you. And this creature, which I went into, his heart is glowing really, really, really gold, just like the sun. And it starts to crack and it, it steps backwards and you are actually break out of this thing and walk out of this creature, which was actually kind of, it was a part of your soul that was trapped in this chaos. And you actually break out of this creature like you're shedding a skin. And you're glowing really bright like the golden sun.
Oh. But you're super weak. And, and the old lady instantly changes the whole room into this golden light. And she bursts out and she's got these massive wings of golden light. Like she's like a golden angel. And she just bursts and she's just like beautiful young angel. It's like really gorgeous. And she scoops both of you up and goes straight up into the air. And I just follow her. It's going super high up. Like really fast, like something is very important about getting you out of this space immediately. She goes straight up, out like almost like through the clouds, and it's so straight. Her, her, her wings go straight out. She has you in her, both her arms, and she drops you, and it's like she instantly claps her hands like this, and the whole space changes, and you're in like like a bunch of. Um, I guess it's like white feathers actually everywhere. Like you're you just covered in white feathers. Like you just go plop. It's so light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. These parts of yourself both wake or like are wide awake, looking at what just happened. And the old lady is back again, and she's smiling, and she has both of you. One's a silver rose and one's a gold. She passes the one that was trapped in that space, a gold rose, and gives you a silver rose. And she asks you to touch the roses together. And you, you reach forward and you touch the roses together, and it blends into a, a silver and gold rose. But it starts to spin. When it spins, you get pulled into each other and you start to spin in the vortex with this rose in the center. And you're spinning around this rose really, 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 really fast. And again, this old woman spreads her wings out again and wraps around this vortex. She speaks a few words, like it's really hard for me to reproduce them. But as soon as she says them, there's like a loud crack that the, the whole energy around you just cracks, like with a sound of a, like, just like, it's almost like it's such a powerful word that just cracks the energy around you. And instantly is like, an, it's just a, a, like a line that goes in the roses and explodes outwards. And as a, it, now there's a powerful energy that pulls both of you inside. And it's like a chick, 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 chick on the ground. There's, a, there's this piece of really bright energy that just hit the ground, but it sounds a little bit like dropping metal on the ground. And it's kind of going back and forth. She walks over and picks it up. And it's like, it's like a... It's like a Russian doll looking thing. And she opens it up. And usually when you open a Russian doll, it's like one piece after another. Off that. But when she opens this up, it opens differently. And opens up like a flower. And when she opens it up, there's like a beautiful energy that swirls up in the air. And, it, and it, it's like, it, and it just explodes like this with energy. And you're standing there in this, but you're only like, probably six or seven inches tall but you're like a fairy size like you're really really pretty because the energy is flowing up around you and you appear with this beautiful fairy but you grow start to grow really quickly you don't have wings but you 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 look like that and you're glowing and you're coming in the air and you're opening up and up and up and you're growing and growing and growing and growing until you're full size And is instantly when she stops the energy flow, you fall to the ground and she grabs you. <clears throat> and she sits you up 
on a on a on like a chair and switches everything. Hmm. Now we're back on top of the mountain. Everything looks neat and tidy and nothing scattered everywhere. You have a clock here, 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 here. You're on a desk and there's clocks all around you. And she goes, smash, 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 smash. She actually takes her cane and smashes all the clocks. And she simply says, she gives you like a, a pen and she says, write down one word and you write down time. That's all you write. And then she scribbles that word out and she replaces it with, you start to write it out she smacks your hand and she says, no, that's not the correct thing to say. And instead she puts her hand over it and writes something down. And you flip it over and, you, and it's like the word is possible. You have to be able to do things that are possible. If something is outside of that realm, the expectation should never be there. So time should be possible, is the two words she's trying to say to you. If, if it's not possible, this should never be expected. And it's important that if it's not possible, then you need to relay that information. You need to be able to stand up and say that this is not possible. And stop looking at the clocks. And she, 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 if she said, if you get another clock, I'm going to smash it. This is in your spiritual atmosphere we're talking about. In real life, we do need clocks, but she doesn't want you to look at the clocks all the time. You need to be able to focus on what is possible. And be able to relay that information to whoever needs to know it. And she takes her cane and shoves it in your back. And, and she says, and you need to have this cracks, cracks. It's like, it's like, your vertebrae and it's like a metaphor of you need to be able to stand up for yourself you need to grow a backbone just like this one she's not saying that you don't stand up for yourself but there's times you need to be able to say things that might piss people off but that's perfectly okay because it has to be possible People should not expect the impossible. People are human. We only can do so much. So if it exceeds outside that realm, that's when we need to make sure that we tell people and not be afraid to speak it. So that's ending at that point and quiet it down. It's interesting. <laughs> well, thank you very much. If you wish to do a journey with me, you feel free. And uh, I'm doing this journey with Abby. It's my dear friend and yeah, we, we love doing journeys together. And her website is Abby Norbert Wisdom Quest, and my website is Amon Ross Awakening. Thank you very much, everybody, and have a great day.